welcome back to the Neon Revolution. Today we have got more Dollar General tins. This time you're lucky enough to get a Dragonite and a Salamence, so one of each. And honestly, let's just jump right into it because super excited. I love opening these packs now, or these tins I should say. Um, I mean, some of the hits that we've gotten out of these. Rainbow Rare, Tyranitar, uh, Gold, Secret Rare, Cards, uh, Reverse Hollow, Raichu from Evolutions. Uh, I mean, I, I could go on and on. Reverse Hollow, Chansey from Evolutions. So just honestly some really great pulls, despite how difficult the Classic likes to be. Totally worth it. Now, I didn't believe in the dollar store packs at all. I knew they existed. I, I knew they were real. I just I didn't believe that spending a dollar on a card pack was going to be worthwhile, especially because you're not guaranteed anything. Um, so there's a Dragonite card. Cool thing is, not a promo. It's actually from a set. So we'll go ahead, and set that off to the side, and then I love these tins um, just because of the pack selection. So, Lost Thunder, Lost Thunder, Unified Minds, Cosmic Eclipse, Unified Minds, Unified Minds, Cosmic Eclipse, Two Evolutions, and Cosmic Eclipse again. Such a awesome mix of cards. You got uh, three from Sun and Moon, and then Evolutions in the XY series. All right. Then there is the Salamence card for you guys. Super pretty card. Go ahead and get this out. And it should be the same thing, which is okay with me. So you got four Moss Thunder, bunch of Unified Minds, Cosmic Eclipses, and then the Upside Down Evolutions. Toss those there, toss those there. I think we'll go Lost Thunder, Unified Minds, Cosmic Eclipse, and obviously Saving Evolutions for Last. And that is what we get to open up today. 20 packs, $20. Can we make our money back? Is it worth it? Will we get the Charizard out of the Evolution? So many questions to be had. Let's go ahead and jump to the close up. Let's start opening some Pokemon cards. Alrighty, and we are here with the close-up real quick just before we get started. I'm going to open up some more hard cases or top loaders, if you will. Just to get ready, because I have a feeling that we are going to need them. Let's jump right into it. Starting off, we've got Lost Thunder. Now for any of those who are watching who don't really know what these are. Uh, these are three card packs, right? So there's only three cards in there. Uh, there's no promo card. This is that uh, card right there. It's just more advertisement for Pokemon. If you wanted to do a card trick, it's the middle card from here. You flip that to the back. Now you're also not guaranteed anything. You're not guaranteed rare, um, reverse hollow, anything like that. It's just three cards from that set. Um, now, I haven't seen it, a set or a card. Actually, you know what? No, I just watched a video the other day where somebody had two reverse hollows in the same in the same pack, which that's super rare. And they said they've never seen it before. So if you are going to get anything, it's going to be the middle card, and it's either going to be, you know, a reverse hollow, a rare, or you know, anything from that set. Just like that. So Heracross, you are our first winner of the day. Reverse Hollow set you up there. Now the first time that we opened these tins, um, I only bought two because I was like, alright, well, I need content for the channel because, you know, it's hard to find cards out there. Uh, so I'll get them, you know. Wasn't, wasn't too worried about like what would come in. I'm just kind of content to fill the channel. And then, I mean, we ended up having amazing pulls. Just absolutely amazing pulls. So, um, I went back and I bought more, because why not? And that's when 
we, we start to get hits, like good hits. So, all right, so last Lost Thunder. Now, these are a little bit more difficult to open than I remember, but that is all right. I think I'll manage. All right, Jigglypuff, very interesting artwork. I'm not sure what is he or she on a cupcake. What's going on? I, I don't know what's going on. Trumbeak and Alolan Meow. So out of Lost Thunder, only one Reverse Hollow. That's completely okay. Because if I want any good hits, I want them to be a Cosmic Eclipse or Evolution. Definitely Evolution. Because it's such an old set that a lot of the cards are graded. And so you get a more accurate price point of like what a card is worth. All right, starting off, uh, Unified Minds, Fletchling, Harambe, and Scraggy. Harambe, obviously, as everyone knows on the internet, is the cause of the entire world collapsing because everything was fine until they shot Harambe. Or, I mean, if, if you spend 10 minutes on the internet, that's what we'll find out. All right, we got Rylu. Got that beautiful sea turtle. And, okay, Mentites. All right, so not the best start to the, uh, to the day. The first time that we did this, we got 13 out of the 20 packs. Head, reverse hollows, rares, ultra rares, stuff like that. Um, and we have not been able to duplicate them. We've hit 12 twice. Um, and even when we haven't, we've had like amazing pulls. So completely fine as long as the pulls are there. All it takes is one. When I started collecting again, um, I bet that's all I kept saying to myself is all it takes is one. Just the right pack in the right place. And then once I started the channel, um, uh, all, all it takes is one. All it takes is one. And uh, I ended up getting the uh, Rainbow Rare Charizard from Champion's Path. So still waiting on some other Charizards. So Burning Shadows, that one, whew, that one has eluded me. I spent a good amount of money chasing after that one. Um, I bought, I think it was 13 uh, Elite Trainer boxes and not at MSRP. So uh, definitely a lot of money spent uh, chasing after that Charizard. All right, the last Unified Minds. So far, Heracross Reverse Hollow is the only card worthwhile. Um, and I say that like, if you if you look at the average price of card sold online, um, it is about ninety cents, nine, ninety-nine cents. I sell any cards lowest I'll sell a card for is uh, two dollars, and that's just because. You're getting a penny sleeve or a normal sleeve, and then you're getting the top loader. You're getting a bubble envelope for that extra protection. Um, and, like, my guarantee as a seller who has 100% on, you know, on his page, that that card is in the mail coming to you. Like, there's not going to be, you know, anything like that. So, um, $2, because, I mean, the stamp, the envelope, the top loader, and the penny sleeve put together. I'm making like, I think it's like 60 cents a card, even selling them at $2. But just to make sure that the card gets to you safely, that's how I go about it. All right, Sunflora. So we finally got another card worthwhile. Sunflora is a non-holo rare from Cosmic Eclipse. Such a fun set to open. Um, got some, some great cards from this set. I really do hope that we get to pull some soon. Um, I would love, I would love to open up a um, Cosmic Eclipse Elite Trainer box. Uh, I said it very early on on the channel that I wanted to open one of every Elite Trainer box out there, and then uh, the prices for them just kept going up and up and up and up. I mean, they're still going up. 20th anniversary. Um, Elite Trainer Boxes are going for $1,000, if not more. Um, XY Evolutions are two to $300, maybe even more now. It's been a while since I've looked at them, just because of how expensive they are. I mean, even the, the new set that came out, Shining Fates, it came out, what, less than a week ago? 
uh, well, as of recording this, I don't know when this video is going to come out. Um, and yeah, they're, they're going for two hundred dollars already. One hundred fifty, two hundred. I've, I've seen a couple sold for three hundred, which is just that's bananas insane. Especially because like, like, I know they're scarce and hard to find, but if you want one, just go out and grind. Spend spend that money driving around to every single Walmart, GameStop, Target within a hundred mile radius. So save money. Um, and it'll get a nice little road trip over there. Alright, so still on Cosmic Eclipse. Still only two hits so far. Kind of sad, honestly. Like, I've been talking these up for so long, and then, I mean, it's going to let me down. It's going to let me down. Alright, so all right, we got another rare. It's another non hollow, but that is okay. So we are at three. We got four packs to go. But the right card gets pulled from Evolutions. And that makes up for it. Alright. So, last Cosmic Eclipse, Golden Meowth, Golduck, and Routes. Alright, so yeah. Three hits so far. I'm leaving them up there. Just uh, at the top of the screen. Just in case. Alright. So now, now it's when it, uh, it gets exciting because, like I said, you pull the right card from here and it's going to make it all worth while. All right, starting off, Ponyta, Professor Oaks Hint, and a Doug Tree. It is a rare. It is a rare, technically, uh, not a very you know popular rare, I should say. Uh, you don't see them selling for huge amounts of money, but you know what? It is a rare, nonetheless. So I am okay with it. Alright. Got a beautiful looking Vulpix. Vulpix is very loved on this channel. The Evolution Spray. And, ooh, an energy. Ending on an energy. That's new. Alright, two more packs to go. Can we get... Something, something worthwhile. Just give me a nice, give me a nice reverse hollow. Doesn't have to be a Charizard. I mean, I'd love it if it was, but it doesn't have to be a Charizard. I don't even need a full art. I can just, just give me a nice, a nice reverse hollow. That's all. Rowlet. Hollyworld. And a Machop. Alright. One pack to go. One more chance. One more chance to get a decent card. This might be the worst that we have ever done with these dollar store packs. And that is very, very sad to me, especially because I have a couple more tins right behind me that I was planning on filming directly after this episode. Okay, last pack of this episode. Starting off, got a magic card. Got a magma. Last card of the day. Come on. All right. You know what? A D Evolution Spray Reverse Hollow. I will take it. Beautiful card. Uh, it is from Evolutions, and everything from Evolutions is worth money. We're just gonna go ahead and whoop, sleeve that up, toss it up there. So yeah. So not, not honestly, not the greatest day. But you know what? Not bad either. Um, Aircross as a Reverse Hollow. Uh, Doug Trio. And then these are the other rares. And then this one from Evolutions. Not bad. Um, we do do this just for the love of collecting Pokemon cards. Uh, it is fun to always pull, you know, that, that rainbow rare, that secret rare, that full art. But when it doesn't happen, you just gotta say, you know what, next time. We will get them next time. Is that, that, that there's always gonna be another pack. There's always gonna be another, you know, blister or elite trainer box or whatever it is but thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's episode another super chill episode just kind of opening some pokemon cards nothing too big waiting on shining fates to get back in stock everywhere uh but to all my new subscribers thank you guys so much for joining the channel i hope you guys enjoy the content um i'll link the uh the better videos i'll say the better hits at least down in the comment section down below but uh, thank you guys as always um, and have an amazing day.